Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find all six Feed for Pico locations here in Chapter 8 of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Now keep in mind you only need three of these to be able to progress through the main story. However, I recommend grabbing all six not only for completionists, but you can use the remaining three to purchase Chocobo gear that will help you in the race that's a part of the main story here. So let's jump into it. So to get your first screen, you're going to want to head over to where all the Queen's Blood players are. So as we zoom into the prison map here, you guys can see that we have have three Queen's Blood players all next to each other and you want to make your way just outside of that building. Now once you get over here looking at the building you want to go to the left and over here in this back corner you're going to find three thugs that are all just hanging out. Walk up to them you're going to end up getting a little bit of dialogue. They're going to talk about wanting to fight you in a more secluded location and once you finish the dialogue with these guys we're going to take a right and we're going to go all the way back towards this house. So once that dialogue finishes, we can slowly start to move to the right here in this dark house area. And these guys are going to start to follow us. Now, keep in mind, you want to keep these guys close. If you go too quickly, they can despawn and you'll have to come back and get them. So continuously move through this location with these guys right on your tail, just so you don't risk them despawning. But essentially, all you're doing is making your way to the very back of this little house. And there's going to be a crack in the wall that you can sneak through. So I'm just going to hang out, make sure they're coming in here with me. And once they're in here, we can then go through the wall. It'll cue a little cutscene where you automatically walk into the open here and they're going to sneak in behind you and you're going to have to battle all three of them. Now, once you finish battling them, all three of them are going to stand up and essentially apologize or thank you for the battle. And they're going to reward you with your first screen. So this is going to be the first location. Our second location is going to be found on the southeastern side of the prison. This is going to be the truth and lie minigame. You guys can see where our marker is here on the screen. Now, if you don't know how to get back into this corner, just make your way right over here on the main path where you guys can see my arrow. And from this path, you guys can see there's a little small spot where you can actually crawl underneath. Go ahead and crawl underneath. It's going to lead us to this back pathway. And right around the corner, once you make it back here, you're going to find a whole bunch of people standing right here where it says getting by in a cruel world. So the way to play this game is you're going to have five people each with a number on their shirt. And as you interact and hover over them, they're going to give you a piece of information. Now, our goal is to figure out which one of these five contestants is telling the truth. Now, they're going to give you a little map that has the numbers on that map so that you can go to the location they're talking about and then confirm or deny what they're saying. That way you can figure out which ones are lying and which one's telling the truth. However, we're going to show you the answer so that you don't have to waste a lot of time doing that if you don't feel like doing this. So spoiler alert, go ahead and move on to the next timestamp if you don't want to know the answer. So if you're still here, you want to know the answer. The answer is going to be number four, and that girl is going to be called Squinty Rachel. She is going to be the one telling the truth. Once you select her, you will then win the game and you will be rewarded with your second set of greens. Our third greens location is going to be found over by the community notice board. So if you guys take a look, this is where you want to head to on your map. And we actually want to go inside of the bar that's right beside it. So make your way to the notice board. You guys can see it here. We're just going to go inside of the restaurant here and walk up to the bartender. And speaking with the bartender is going to start our little mini game to be able to get our third set of greens. So this mini game is pretty straightforward. You're really not going to need too much help. However, there are some pretty important things that I want to share with you that will help you when completing this. Uh, after you're done speaking with the bartender, it's going to be pretty obvious. You'll get a little blue indicator on your map to show you where to go. But you're going to be playing a game of cat and mouse with a cactuar. So you're going to get the greens. The cactuar takes the greens and he's just going to run away from you for a good five minutes. And he's going to lead you on this crazy adventure where you're going to end up having to face multiple enemies. The first piece of advice that I want to give you is that you can actually run past most of these. You don't necessarily need to fight every little thing that you run by while you're chasing this guy down. In fact, I was able to run by most of them without issue. So I uh, definitely recommend saving a little bit of time and just running past most of the enemies. You'll get the game done a little bit quicker. Also, keep an eye out for chests. There are a couple of chests that are along the route here. So if you want to take your time and really try to find every little thing there is to offer or this game has to offer, you can find some chests as well. Now, eventually, once you end up running this guy down, you're going to get to the very end where you're going to encounter like six or seven mini cactuars. Don't be fooled. These guys are actually really dangerous and can take you out extremely fast. And you guys will see, I'll show you a little bit of gameplay here, how hard they really hit you. And, uh, and they can get you close to death pretty quickly. So just be very, very careful when you're fighting these guys uh, that you're not going to get wiped out immediately after making it to the end. But once you're able to successfully take out all the little mini cactuars, you'll be able to pick up 
the third uh, set of greens. Now our fourth greens location is going to be found on the western side of the prison. This is going to be right over here by the minigame Desert Rush. So you guys can see we're kind of just standing here on the orange marker. And once you're here, you guys will see the sign Desert Rush. You guys can just go ahead and go inside and speak to the lady behind the counter. Now our goal when playing this game is pretty simple. We just need to gather 15,000 points before the time runs out to be able to get the greens as the reward. And we're gonna show you how to play the game so that you can get 15,000 points. So we're gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do to get to the 15,000 score. So the first thing you immediately wanna do is turn to your right and take out this box that has the electric bolt on it. And that'll break into smaller 200 boxes and get you to a thousand points. It's also gonna activate this electric box in front of us that's blocking the way to the second section, which is really important. So we need to destroy that quickly so we can move on. Now, once that's opened up, we can take our time and destroy all the other boxes back here. We've got three 1500s right here that'll help a lot. And then you can come over here into this back corner where you've got a bunch of small 50s, a little time box to add five seconds, as well as another 1500 right back over here in the corner. And once you take all of those out, you're gonna be done in this little back section. There's nowhere else to go. So we can immediately run back over to the electricity box that we broke and move on to the second section, only needing 5,000 more. So you can see we have three more of those electric boxes that we still need another electric bolt for, and we wanna go up. So I just ran over here to get a couple more seconds. To get up, you wanna to come to this red thing right here and just immediately smack the hell out of it until you get up top, and then you'll find your second electric box. You can go ahead and destroy that get some more small 200 boxes. And then to get down, you can just come over here to the left blue one and just work your way down. So we'll go ahead and swing a million times until we're touching the ground. We can hop off and then you can go hit the electric boxes at the front or you can come over here and hit this one as there's plenty back here to get to that 15,000 mark super easily. Uh, and then you can pretty much just finish it off in this corner. We've got some more 50 boxes here that we're missing. <laughs> a lot more in here and then a 1500 and that'll easily get you to 1500 you continue to go you can see we still have a minute on the clock so i think i was able to hit 43,000 score through this run so if you want to try to uh, get the best score you possibly can you can keep going but 15,000 is all that you're going to need and as you can see when the game ends and it shows you your score your reward for the 15,000 will be another set of greens so that'll be location number four our fifth greens location is going to be found on the far southeastern side of the prison. You guys can see as we zoom in here, you want to go to this giant circular looking thing on the southeastern side. There's actually going to be a ladder over here. As you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and climb all the way down to the bottom. And this is going to be the beast's battleground. So you're essentially just going to come down here. We're going to fight a couple beasts. But once you make your way to the end of the tunnel, you'll come across a guy that's standing in front of a gate. You can go ahead and interact with him. And he's going to show you the combat challenges. Now, when you first get down here, you're only going to have round one unlocked. And once you complete round one, you will then unlock round two. And same with round three. This one's super straightforward. You shouldn't really need too much help with this as you really just got to do three beast battles. Um, but once all three of the rounds are complete, you will then be rewarded uh, with the greens. So this is going to be location number five. Now, our sixth and final greens location is going to be found back over by the Queen's Blood players. At the beginning of the video, we showed you there's three that are all right here next to each other. To get your final set of greens, we're going to have to defeat all three of them. So this one's pretty easy. They're fairly low level, so it shouldn't be an extreme challenge. But it is important for you to know that you're not going to get handed the greens once you beat the third player. Once all three players have been defeated, you need to head over to the House of Cards. And we'll show you the exact location here on your map. It should be e pretty easy uh, to spot since there is an indicator here. But once you get down here, you just want to speak with the card collector that's inside. He'll give you a little bit of dialogue. And once his dialogue is finished, he will then hand over your sixth and final greens. Now that you have all six set of greens, we can head back over to Pico and Esther. The first thing you're going to do is give Pico three of them, and you can only give them one at a time. So go ahead and take the time to drop all three in there. And upon dropping the third one, it will then cue a little cutscene where you will get some dialogue. And after that dialogue finishes, you will then be able to interact with Esther and buy the GI set for your bird. Again, it's really important to buy this set. This will boost your stats significantly and really help you in the race that's here in the main story. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and get all six and you should be good to go. But this is how to find all six greens here in Feed for Pico in chapter eight. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.